guys, Christina is here, and today I'm here with a get to know me question and answer kind of vibe. I know it's weird seeing my face, I apologize. However, I thought it's time you guys get to know who Christina Ellis is. Okay, guys, so I have some questions that I asked my nail Instagram um, to ask me some questions for you guys, and I got about 16 questions, so hopefully, it's not too long. But first, let me get some basic information out. Hi. I'm Christina, also known as Christina Ellis. Right. First, I want to mention that I did the these two sets on my self, <laughs> and they will be posted on my channel. You probably have seen one of them already, or it's coming so soon. So please just stay tuned. I hope you enjoy those videos. So here are my questions. Um, fun fact: I'm also visually impaired i guess that's the medical way i do wear glasses um so that's how i see best and i am nearsighted so i'm gonna be like just letting y'all know so as i said i'm christina i am 21 years old i am now in my final year of university i am studying psychology with hopes of doing a minor in criminology Hopefully to get my master's in either forensic or clinical psychology. Okay guys, so that's me. That's me. Okay. So first question is what made you start doing nails? Despite the saturation in Jamaica, right? What made me do nails? Made me start doing nails despite the saturation in Jamaica. Honestly, when I started, it wasn't a matter of, oh, Oh, this profession is doing well in Jamaica. I must can get at least, you know, some of these clients or yeah, there's so much of them here. Might as well add to it and I must can get money because people always looking for nail techs or whatever. It wasn't that um that was not the situation. When I started doing nails okay, my love for nails started in when I was sixteen, I got my nails done the first time. Uh my big sister big sister carried my tune and I to get her nails done for her birthday and or the summer and i just found it so interesting i have no clue why but it was just so interesting and also i'm an artistic person so it's just the art of it in general just was so fascinating to me so when i started to do it when i started to learn i was like oh, i really do love this and you know i got better at it i was like i really do love this and then i was just doing it for my friends and i and i was just like might as well start working doing it for other people so they can feel the joy I feel when I finish my own nails. So that's when I started working in January of 2019 and I've been working ever since. Um, it wasn't necessarily about the saturation. If it was just a case where I only had like two clients and those two clients were very happy with me, I would have been completely fine. But I've been getting like so much support and referrals sometimes. It may be not as much as most nail techs, but it's much more than like I really do appreciate the the clients I do have. I love each and every one of you guys like to my core. Like I'm, I love you guys, um, and I just hope to get more loyal, loving clients. It's not about how much I do, but who I do and like how they feel afterwards. Once they're happy, I'm happy. Next question. What's my greatest pleasure doing nails? Let me tell you. Let me tell you. My greatest pleasure, you see when I finish and I put on a top coat and it finished done and oil up and cuticle nice and everything shape pretty and the client look at me and see them love it. Me love that. Me. Favorite part, like, I mean the process of doing nails, love it. But my favorite part, the greatest pleasure, what sticks with me. Is when my client say she love it at the end. Obviously, when they don't, blow to my heart, you know. <laughs> okay, so the next question: any regrets? Um, I wouldn't say I have any regrets because it's the journey that I've been having is already passed. I can't go back to change it. I can't do anything about it now. I just wished. Um, maybe I had practiced more maybe <laughs> before starting clients not not that the clients i got in the beginning was um was like you know bad or whatever but I, you know where i'm now 
and where I was then, I feel like I could have been where I am now a little bit sooner if I had just practiced. But um, I'm still practicing. I'm still trying to get better for you guys. I don't think my work is like completely perfect, like you know, like clean or whatever. It's clean sometimes, but you get what I mean. Like I feel like you always should be practicing, always should be learning, always should. So that's my regret. I didn't learn, practice, and do more sooner. Maybe I would have been in a different place, but. The place where I am now is where I'm meant to be, so I guess I really, I guess I don't have any regrets. I just know what I have to do now. That's just how life is. Okay, so the next question is, how I deal with dissatisfied clients? Um, to be very honest, I've never really had that many dissatisfied clients. Um, not saying that it's just because my work is that good, or maybe uh, they haven't told me. I usually ask my clients if you're okay or you like it or it's good shape good everything i usually check during the process um so to fix anything they don't like before i'm finished um i haven't really had anybody like you know i had one client that yeah this was sitting with me um she had her nails done somewhere else and i was she was lifting and i was supposed to refill it fix it up whatever but it still ended up lifting even after my work and honestly, I felt so bad after it. I felt bad because I wish I could have done better for her, but I don't know if that, at that stage I could have, but she, I mean, I felt bad. She may not have meant her words in a bad way, but where I was at that time, I thought I was getting better. So that was like a really like a blow to my heart. So this is to clients. I just try to be as calm as docile as possible. I'm not really like a, I'm not gonna cuss you off because she cuts me off like it's just that's not, that's not how i work um i'll try to ap ap apologize a lot and i'll let her know that listen i'm sorry i couldn't be what you needed me to be for this process i'm really sorry if you give me an exchange whatever if you don't like clients that i only see once in my lifetime that's just fine maybe they're already satisfied or maybe they're just you know some people just like sushi nail ticks or whatever the case may be but i always try to um assure people are okay before they leave my seat and if they're dissatisfied after i just talk it through them let them know that i'm sorry and you know hopefully next time i can be someone better for you because that's all i want to be better for you guys um how has my journey been i mean with every journey even with the life itself you have like ups and you have downs so I would say that ups and downs. There are times I was not like working for like weeks and I was like, is there something wrong with me? <laughs> and there are times that I, you know, I'll be like, have clients probably like every day and I'm like, I'm tired, I'm tired. <laughs> but it's, it's, it's up and down, up and down journey. <laughs> Sorry, I don't speak well. It's an up and down journey, guys. Um, but I've been loving it so far. I have no intentions of stopping. So that should tell you how the journey has been. Once you really don't want to stop or go back or that means your journey is going well enough for you to um tolerate it, I guess. But I'm loving my journey, love my clients, love my work. Um I can see the growth in myself, so that's the best part for me. So that's just where I'm at in my journey and it's only been like call it a year and eight months I've been working on other people but i started learning in 2017 the journey's been good guys the journey's been good okay so next question what inspired me to start um i think this is maybe a different kind of vibe from the i don't know if you guys can hear that but that's annoying um a different vibe from the based on the saturation what inspired me to start basically other than the fact of when i got my nails done and i just was fascinated and i'm an artsy person and i just didn't pursue art so this was my form of art therapy um my twin sister is a makeup artist and she started way before me obviously not way before but like a year or so but she got so better she drove herself to be where she is now you guys should definitely check her out her name is candy sarah on instagram and her in youtube is no her name is candy it's the mua 
on Instagram and Candy Sarah on YouTube. I'll definitely leave her links down below because she's my twin sister and I'm going to tell y'all about her all the time. But anyways, yeah, she was doing makeup and I didn't want to be like, you know, that twin that doesn't do anything. So I was like, okay, I have a passion for this. Might as well start. I told my mommy, she said, okay. Um, she didn't hinder us from doing um, any extra school activities that we wanted to do she let us be um free so she bought me a my first little hollywood pink um acrylic and i got a little brush and um bought my first liquid and then that was me so that's what inspired me to start seeing candy's drive and do better and be better and then like have her name i wanted to drive them so i could be with her basically um what is my aspirations? Inspirations? Aspirations? Aspirations? I think it's what the person is asking. Aspirations in life? Okay, guys. So, obviously, I told you I want to be a psychologist full stop, point blank, period. I don't know if I'm going for my PhD, but that's also in my mind. Um, I would want to help people somehow. Um, whether it's, like, volunteering. Non like, just... That's my goal. Apart from being a psychologist, I hope I'm somewhere that somebody that helps others otherwise and in terms of nails i would like to my name to be known you get me um my name to be known hopefully i would like to speak it into being get my own brand um in the future so that's um, those are my aspirations in life love others help others and be somebody <laughs> um uh this person asks this is candy better <laughs> uh what qualities do i look for in a guy um i don't know i don't even know if i have the right type <laughs> anyways <laughs> um hopefully supportive personality of up funny like i don't want to be uncomfortable um understanding um yeah, just oh, somebody that I have a good time with, just personality-wise, is the best for me. Looks-wise, I'm not going to be like, oh, any looks is good. Any looks is good, but it's just like, everybody's uh, unattractive, unattractive to somebody. So I'm hoping that she's attractive to me. Attracted to me and me attractive. Attracted to him. Right. That's that's the right sentence, right? Right. So, um, Yeah. That's basically it. Just somebody like that vibe with my spirit. That's my type. That's basically the type. Like I don't have no tall, dark, handsome, intelligent. No, the vibe with my type. That's the vibe with me. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Pet peeves in a guy. Let me tell you. Let me tell you. Low, poor communication. Let me tell you. Let me tell you. I talk a lot. I talk a lot. <laughs> So, poor communication, um, bad treatment of others, um, like, unkind actions and words, no, 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 um, there's probably a few more, can't think of them right now, but, unsupportive, stuff like that, you know, that's not, that don't vibe with me, that's not my type, you know, um, Okay, so someone asks, what do you study and why did you choose it? Say hi, mommy. She's hi. waving. <laughs> um, what do I study and why did I choose it? Right. So I chose to study psychology because my, in, my overall, my general disposition, if that makes sense, is, is to help others and care for others and make sure everybody else is okay even if I'm not. And then, as I grew up, I realized that a lot of people, especially in Jamaica, have a lot of mental issues. Not mental in terms of mental disorders where it can be diagnosed, which is in terms of not being able to talk to them processes and help themselves, you know, and make them se um, uh, help themselves, basically. Before that, I wanted to be a teacher from when I was very young because my grandmother is a teacher and I saw that I was I was smart. I'm smart. Okay? Okay, let me tell you. I'm smart. So I always would help 
um others uh, with the work and stuff make sure they're understanding and everything so i guess that's where my nature came from i wanted to be a teacher because as i said my general disposition is to help but then as i said as i got older i realized that other than helping people learn stuff and understand stuff i could help them un learn and understand about their selves so they can have a better quality of life and that's why i switched over to being a psychologist how did i learn to do nails let me tell you let me tell you youtube as in this platform that you're watching me on right now youtube have everything basically everything you need they have it they have it i'm telling you they have it they have it i'm telling you that's why i'm here as well to learn teach and 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 help they have it right so this is how i learned to do um nails i didn't go to any specific class no didn't have no time for that um i just sat here and learned i'm a visual learner and i practiced so that's how most even if you feel like you don't have a trade find something interested and even if it's hard at the beginning keep at it youtube helps practice if you're auditory learning auditory learner listen visual see you know like youtube that's how i learned what is a tip you would give your former self a tip you would give your former okay so I, i'm assuming like if i was younger one tip i would give your former self is be more aware of you and your feelings um i feel like when i was growing up i, I gave more attention to other people other people in general than i give myself in terms of me especially along with nails as well sometimes i would take him be taking more jobs than my body could handle take care of you as well that's what i would give my former self as advice please and i'm also giving you that advice <laughs> take care of yourself as well please and thank you uh the next question is what drives you to do nails i mean i'm assuming that asked me what drives me hi <laughs> what drives me to keep going my clients my clients drive me to keep going the pleasure of seeing them happy makes me want to make somebody an next client happy and keep making them happy so that's what drives me my clients yeah because honestly there's pains that come with it that's not like, beautiful but i'm willing to be all of that for y'all i promise okay so this person asks who is my favorite neighbor and my favorite neighbor is jovan hunter she knows herself she knows how nice she is i love her hi jovan <laughs> okay so the next question is my top three sets and i'm just gonna insert them somewhere i don't really have like top three but three sorry but i'm gonna insert my favorite of the most recent i guess um even if it's not like my vibe but sometimes the shape you know it's pristine or like the design what they gave me is like oh beautiful you get me so i'm gonna insert them somewhere i don't know if they're gonna have their own slots or what there you go enjoy Question is What is your least favorite style? Don't have a least favorite style per se Because the style is not really the problem is my execution of it that I really like so if you give me like a weird style And I can do it good for you like I automatically end up liking it because you know I did it so I don't have like a least favorite style. I've had six that I'm not like particularly over the moon for you know like the colors maybe not my favorite or the shape or the length or whatever um which is not something that is like a dislike it's just this is literally my preference <laughs> longer nails whatever but sh i love sh i have short nails that come out really good you know i don't have a favorite least i don't have a least favorite style guys anything you bring to me i will do my best to execute it and that's my most favorite style <laughs> if you guys understand okay guys so 
thank you for coming to my TED talk. I'm joking. Thank you for coming to the video to watch my q and I hope it was, you know, I answered some questions for you. I hope it was a good, you know, not too long. I hope you guys sat and watched it and enjoyed our conversation, answered questions with me. Um, if you want, you can leave more questions in the comment section below or on my Instagram, which I have put in the description. Um, that I can do an next Q&A for you guys if you enjoyed this one. If you did not enjoy this one, I am sorry. But I probably will do it again. Anyways, so thank you for coming to my get to know me Q&A vibe. You might be seeing my face a little more often. Um, just a little more. I know you guys don't want to see me. You want to see the nails. I oh, know. I'm sorry. But you guys should be seeing me a little bit more often and I'm here. So thank you for coming to my get to know me q &A thing. I know I've said that like two times. Um, remember to keep safe, social distance, wash your hands, stay home, please, thank you. Wear your mask, please, thank you.